Hey, Chris Williams here. So I would like to explore the question of what is the difference between being free versus freedom? I, I've been questioning this uh, for the last month now um, as I uh, did some reflection on like history and what it really meant and looking at some of the the, the matriarchs and patriarchs of, of, of black history and a lot of things that have happened. And I, I, I came across this question that I just began to ask and it's, you know, what is the difference between being free versus freedom? And so, you know, I started looking at a lot of things. I love history. So I started, you know, reading different articles and looking at all of the untold stories about black history. And something dawned on me uh, as I really went back all the way back to even um, slavery. And I thought about the moment that slavery was abolished and how many uh, black people actually struggled with the idea of what does it mean now that I'm free? And, and that was a struggle for a lot of people. Of course, you had the North and the South who were going back and forth. But um, even though I'm thinking about the moment of slavery and that whole you know moment, which was a defining moment in, in history of America, um, I think about just in life. I think about in your life and in my life, what things do we realize that we are free from or free to do, but then how well do we actually go about and practice freedom? Free just means you can do what you want to do. You're free to do as you wish. The definition says uh, that you're not in control or bound to any one particular thing. Freedom, on the other hand, talks about the right to do the actual doing of something. How many things in life do I realize that I'm free from or free to do, but I never practice that freedom? So a simple example is, you know, I'm free to apply to any job that I may want to, you know, if I'm, if I'm in my corporate career, but I may look at a job description or I hear about a particular title or I hear about how they do a particular role and I immediately say to myself, no, I can't do that. Or, you know, you hear about people starting businesses or maybe you've, you know, got different things that you wanted to do. Or maybe it's, you know, you're free to have the type of relationship that you want at any given time. But we allow the things of uh, how we feel. We allow the hurt. We allow the, the joy even. We allow just all of these different limitations that stop us from actually walking in the freedom and the right to speak and act and do based on what we are free to do. Uh, even as, you know, as a spiritual person myself, you know, I think about, you know, God gave us a lot of things that we are free to do, you know, but how many things do I, am I probably missing or how many things are you missing in life because you're never walking in that freedom? So I want to offer you some advice today how to go from just realizing that you're free and being aware that you're free, but also learning how to practice the freedom. So the first thing that I want to share with you is that you want to challenge every single default response that you have with one question. And that's why. Why is such a powerful word? Um, it, it can be you know, used in so many different ways to, to push you out of your comfort zone. But the next time that you may have a default answer, uh, something negative, um, a negative stance on yourself. And we all know we have these negative things that we say to ourselves all the time. Every time we look in the mirror or every time we see someone doing something that we're passionate about or there's a passion that we have, but we've been afraid for whatever our limitations are. We don't always you know, go after them. And so I want you the next time, even if it's while you're listening to this, Maybe something inside of you is saying to you, I can't do that. I can't do this. I really want you to challenge your default response and ask, why am I saying that? What is the root reason that I'm telling myself that I can't do this, that this won't ever happen for me? Or yeah, that's for those people, but it'll never happen in my life. I want you to really think about that. Stop and really ask yourself, why do I think like that? And really take time and write it down. The next time you, you make a default response in your mind, challenge yourself and figure out where you're coming from with that. Number two, the one thing that I have as a pet peeve of my own, because it's a personal challenge that I have to myself and that I also now recognize that I hear in others, are two phrases that I really don't like. 
I'll, the first one is I can't, which I just talked about in, in the first one of changing your default responses. And the other one is I don't know. I think it's so easy to tell ourselves I can't or I don't know. We say it all the time. I don't know how to do this or I don't know how to do that or I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do with this and I can't do that and I can't do this. And it's such an easy answer to give. And quite honestly, it's a it's an excuse. Um, it's an excuse to say what we don't know, because what it says is that I don't have to go and do what I'm going to challenge you now. in number two, which is go learn. I mean, the next time you find yourself saying, I don't know, add a comma to that and then say, but I'm willing to learn. So let's just try it right now. You and I, we're going to practice. So let's just say, I don't know, comma, but I'm willing to learn. See, when you're willing to learn, there's not one thing that you cannot do on this planet. The worst thing you can do is begin to keep saying, I don't know. I don't know, comma, but I'm willing to learn. See, when you say you're willing to learn, you can be the president. You can be uh, a top tier businessman or a woman. You can be the tailor. You can be an excellent uh, janitor with multiple you know, companies, you, you know, utilizing your services. You can be a great car salesman. You can be, you can be whatever you want. You can climb the ranks of corporate ladder and, and be that executive. You can be that next manager. You can, you can have the quality of life that you want. The, the difference is, is the people who stop at, I don't know. So when we say, I don't know, we just wipe our hands clean and walk away. But the people that add a comment to that and say, but I'm willing to learn, are willing to put themselves in the middle of changing what they don't know to what they have mastered. And see, experience is always gonna be your best teacher, but how much experience are you willing to get so that you can know? And so I just wanna challenge you today. Get out of your vocabulary, I can't and I don't know. And if the next time you say, I don't know, just put a comma there and say, but I'm willing to learn. Number three is really important and it's something that I want you to pay attention to as you go through this journey of learning how to practice freedom and not just knowing that I'm free to do what I want to do. Um, the, the truth is, is that opposition is just like exercise. It's going to hurt. It's going to be something that you're going to have to push against. You're going to have to consistently get up every day and be willing to um, resist back. Um, there's going to be so many ways and avenues and shut doors and things and people that are going to tell you no, not now, uh, we're sorry, but, um, or overlook you. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to face is what I'm trying to say. Just because today you went to the gym for the first time this year in 2016 and it hurts and you can't walk and you can't stand and you can't bend your arm or, you know, your back is hurting. It doesn't mean it's going to be like that on day 10 doesn't mean like it's going to be like that on day 15 or 30 or, you know, day 45 or day 60. The point is, is that opposition is letting you know that you are growing and that you're gaining strength. And so you know that you're free to live the life that you want, to have the quality of life that you want. You know that. I mean, that's something that you get. But freedom is actually practicing it. What about knowing that you can get past whatever, you know, thing that you faced and dealt with in your past, you know, today? What about the thing that you keep telling yourself that you're never going to do because of an excuse that you keep making? Um, what about, you know, the, the limiting belief that you have um, and the self-doubt that you keep telling yourself, which causes you to stay exactly where you are today as you're listening to this video? And I'm not necessarily trying to get on you, but what I'm trying to get you to see is that being free and practicing freedom is a difference of a choice, is a difference of an act. And so when you apply the things that we talked about today, you know, understanding the difference between free versus freedom, how to walk in that and how to practice it. And when you challenge your default responses, get out of your vocabulary, I can't and I don't know, and add a comma and then say, but I'm willing to learn. And when you also realize that opposition is just exercise, it's gonna help point the way for you forward. Hey, did you like that video? I hope you did. If you did, please leave comments down below. Tell me what you thought about it. Tell me what stood out to you. 
More importantly, if you would and want more information about this and other things that I talk about, or you want to submit different ideas, please feel free to email me at chris at thechristopherwilliams.com. Also subscribe below so that you can continue to get weekly content like this. And I hope that you make forward progress the most important part to your day. Take care.